he was just there in a bed and I thought, this isn't right. Mm. He, 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 he didn't deserve this at no, the end of his so... life. Yo intentaría resumirte una sola, una sola imagen. Se abre la puerta y aparece Cudeca. Aparece Cudeca. Lo que haya de la puerta para acá se va a beneficiar siempre esa visita. Para ver que no era un hospital normal. Si no, no. si es hospital normal no va. No, es que no parece un hospital, parece una casa rural. El enfermo crónico, el enfermo de cáncer, lo que quiere es tener alguna referencia amable con la sonrisa de aquí a aquí, como la Valeria. Todo el mundo allí, todo el personal, es muy agradable, ¿sabes? Que con todo me llevo muy bien, con los médicos, con todos, con los, hasta con los voluntarios, con todo, con todo. Todo el que llega allí... Me siento, pues, en paz. En paz. A mí, además, pues, yo es que me siento muy tranquila en Cudeca. Cudeca me da mucha vida, pues, a través de los psicólogos, sobre todo voy a través de la fisioterapeuta, además yo sin ayuda de los médicos, los médicos a domicilio que van a llenar mi casa por si me pasa cualquier cosa, eso es muy importante. Con el modelo nuestro que tenemos eh, conseguimos que el 74% de cada euro que entra aquí va dedicado a la misión de, de CUDECA. En el área de ingresos, el 80% de nuestra financiación proviene de financiación privada, principalmente de donaciones, de eventos y ya en menor medida de cajas de ahorros y solo el 11% vienen de subvenciones públicas. Una de las cosas más destacables nuestras son las tiendas benéficas. Tenemos 12 tiendas que generan cada año aproximadamente un 30% de nuestros ingresos y que genera muchísima visibilidad al proyecto. ¿Tú has cogido tu llave? Sí. Year after year, more volunteers came forward and want to open shops. But always on the same principle, that I couldn't do it. You find the premises, you find the volunteers, and we'll support you. And we'll help you. And we have more than 650 volunteers working in the shops. Yeah. That, that is a tremendous achievement. It's very simple to give stupid encouragement and never mind, old chap, we'll soon have you out of here, you'll soon be back on your feet. That, I think, helps nobody. The encouragement that they give you at the hospice is a perfect balance designed to give you serious, serious encouragement and support, as I mentioned, at every level. Nothing is too much trouble for them. Anything they can do to help, you have only got to ask. Intentamos aliviar, intentamos cuidar. Con eso intentamos que haya una mejoría y intentamos siempre y nos comprometemos a acompañar hasta el final. Los detalles, atención a los detalles. Son los detalles que son tan importantes para los pacientes que, y, y las familias. Esa sensación de que ellos entran y eso es suyo y ellos deciden lo que quieren hacer o lo que no quieren hacer. Exactamente, hasta, hasta el final. Estamos ahí para ellos hasta el final. Que no podemos añadir días a la vida, pero sí vida a los días. You should feel very proud. Yeah, but, you know, to think that people trusted me. Yeah. But I want people to understand that the hospice is theirs. They built it, you know. They donated money to it. And uh, it, it's very much a community hospice, and I just pray that they will continue to be interested. Because if, if interest fades, Kudoka will fade. And that would yeah. be heartbreaking. That yeah. would be heartbreaking. Anyway, I'll come back and haunt them <laughs> if I do that. <laughs> You might not have gone by then. <laughs> You'll be still around here for I'm, many years to I, come. I, 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 one of the they call me an angel. I told you that, so I'll be flapping about <laughs> and uh, catching we'll my whip it. on them. Carry on. Help Kudaka, please help Kudaka. <laughs>
Good morning, welcome to the TRE Telethon 2014. I'm Bill Padley and Giles Brown is with us. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing out there? The start of a long day, but a fun day and a very valuable day because we're raising money for Kadeka Hospice. And of course, we couldn't start that without talking to the lady who began it all, Joan Hunt OBE. Joan, good morning. Hello, good morning. We are very excited to be here yet again to raise money for Kadeka, uh, and I'm sure you're just as excited to hear us. This is such an exciting day for everybody in Kadeka. So I've got to say good morning to all the listeners, uh, and say this is Joan talking to you from Kadeka Cancer Care Hospice, and welcoming you to another exciting telethon day, with thanks to the generosity of the Talk Radio Europe team. We are deeply grateful to the management and team of TRE who are giving a whole day of broadcasting to highlight our, our need for financial support. We commenced offering our special care without cost to patients suffering from a non-curable advanced illness such as cancer. And to date, the total number of patients that we have treated is in excess of 8,000. Last year, 2013, we treated 810 patients. The majority of our patients prefer to stay at home with their loved ones. And we have a beautiful inpatient hospice for those who are alone or need intensive care. This is the ninth telethon dedicated to raising funds to help Kudeka Hospice. The past eight telethons have raised a grand total of almost 300,000 euros, which has enabled us to continue to offer our special kind of caring. Talk Radio Europe listening audience is very generous, and I'm sure you will enjoy the day and be equally supportive to the desperate needs of so many chronically ill patients. I wish you an exciting day, either listening or joining the bidding. And thanks to all the teams standing by at TRE and Kudeka, ready to take your course. Have a great day and a successful day to everybody. Bless you all. Thank you so much, Joan. The reason this is such a valuable day is because without uh, funding from the public and donations, then Kideka simply would not exist. And that's why this is all so, so important. So let's get it underway in just one moment. The TRE Telethon. Raising money for the Kudeka Hospice. Call us now to bid for items on 952 78 4000. Good morning, welcome to the Telethon 2014 in aid of Kudeka Hospital. And let's have a bit of a cheer for the Marvellous. Marvellous. We have the whole team here. We're uh, taking shifts as we go throughout the day, and this is all about raising money. So let's start giving you some things to raise money for. Giles, shall we get underway with item number one? Why not? Well, let's, slow, well, let's start how we mean to go on with a, an absolute belter of an item. If you thought we were going to start off very slow today with the Kadeka Telethon, you are sadly mistaken. We've got an absolutely fantastic prize, or fantastic bid up for our offer here. Uh, we've got a one-night stay, bed and breakfast to two people, not one, but two people, with
dream. Money's the theme. Do you know what I mean?
special is served on the terrace of the home and beautiful garden of George and Hortensia Dunphy. And this overlooks the place out of posh. This overlooks the spectacular view of Los Angeles. Okay, we have only two minutes left of the show. Thank you so much to everyone who has taken the trouble to A, listen to the show today, B, to bid, and C, to donate. Thanks to all the people who've so generously donated our items. This is a really difficult climate right now in which to ask people to give away their hard-earned money when a lot of people are struggling. But I know that you know that this is a cause which really does need to be supported. And to get a number like that in this climate is really quite, yes. quite extraordinary. We thank you, listeners of Talk Radio Europe, for your participation today. We couldn't do it without you. And certainly the Kadeka Hospice would not be there without you. It's that simple. Uh, what can I say? Thank you. Uh, thanks to all our presenters for turning up today, all the staff at TRE and all the helpers who came in today gave their time for absolutely nothing. And thanks to all the staff of Good Decker. We have one call on the line. What could this be with 30 seconds to go? Hello, you're live on the radio. Hello. 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 No, uh, I'm call this is Joan from... Joan! Oh! Joan! <laughs> Just to say, it's been a fabulous day and I, I've 
been having the radio in my ear all day, oh. and I want to now. I want to thank you all. You've worked so hard, uh, and and I'm speechless with absolute excitement for it all. It's wonderful. Oh, Joan Hunt, yes. thank you so much. You're the the lady who started us all in the first place. We hope you've done you proud today, and our listeners have done you proud. And thank you for starting it, and your staff for continuing uh, it. Thank you. Well, if you were to. Uh, be here and see some of the patients and what a difference it makes to them and their family uh, you would understand why we're here. Joan, and thank you so much, we really appreciate it and uh, please keep going we'll do our best for you okay. as you know uh, Okay, uh, I spent some time with the team here uh, you sent her at processing six. all the work so thank you to everybody, God bless Thank you, Joan. Joan, thank you so Thanks. much. We really appreciate it. Take care thank and goodbye you. from everyone at the TRE Telethon 2014. The Friday Night Sports Bar will be with you quite shortly.